Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach sales and target contribution MVC double OP project using Java Swing application. Now let me discuss. Right. So here target and contribution. So if you are go for the company, they given the sales company, they given the target. Okay, so the target you have to complete the target. So the here we have a contribution, right? So so you can see the target. These are the attributes it have ID, the target person name, after that the amount, the date, it's a complete. Right? So the contribution as a ID, date, amount, and target. These are the attributes we have. Now let me create this target and contribution tables. So if you are not, if you are not install the MySQL work patch in your machine, you have to install the MySQL work patch. MySQL work patch. Work patch. Okay. Right. After that, we have to install the NetBeans ID. You have to download NetBeans ID in your machine. Latest release, you can download and install it. Now I already installed the MySQL work branch. I have to open it. MySQL work branch. Click on here. I'm going to type the username root, password root123, present key. Right. Now here I'm going to create the database. So database I'm going to create how to create the database. So you go here, you can see uh, different tabs are there. Here you can go here to click on this first table, this one. Here I'm going to create the new database, which is a uh, IFC. This is a company. Okay, I just create CIFC. Right now, click apply. Right, IFC. Right, you can see the IFC database has been created here. Right. This inside database we have created the table. Select the table. Right click new table. Now you can get it here. You can click on here. Okay, you can you can add the columns. First one, which column? What is the column? Is target. So target is a column. Sorry, target is a table name. Column first one is a ID, which is a target ID, which is a primary key with auto increment. Okay, we have to create the auto increment. We no need to give the value. It is ID is auto increment. Once the value is added, ID will be auto increment. Second one should be the name. Target name should be I have given the as two fifty five right characters. Third one should be our amount. The amount. This one should be auto given as a double. Third one, fourth one should be our date and come date. There also date. The date. After that, complete. This one should be you are given as a the active or not the complete. The sales is active or not. Okay, you just okay. Here you have to select as a tint. Tiny int. You have to select a tiny int. Uh, tiny int. Yes, tiny int. So type it here. Got to get them here. Tiny. So to tiny it one. So tiny it one. Here we are default value out given as here zero. So give the default expression zero. Right, that's the thing you have to do it. So the default one you have set as we not add add these two fields and not add the values. So here here we have to set as a zero. Right? Okay, tiny values complete. Right. So this is the thing you have to create the table. You have to make sure this all the selection. After that you have to click apply, apply, finish. Your table has been created successfully here. Target table has been created successfully. Right. Now I'm going to create another table which is a contribution. Create table. Contribution, contribution. Right here, we have to add the columns. 
ID, which is a contribution ID, primary key, photo increment. Second one is here, date. This is also the date. Third one should be our third field. Amount, target ID. So amount, so amount, it's a it, uh, amount, it's a, it's a double. After that, target ID, which is an integer. That is, that's the field we have to set it here. Right? This is a foreign key. The foreign key of the table, target table. There is ID, the same ID, which will be coming to the contribute table, which is a foreign key. Right? Now we have to, we have to apply. Apply. Finish it. Right? Perfect. Now we have created the two tables. We have to create a perfect table. Right? Now let's go to the NetBeans. Open the NetBeans. Now, if you are doing the project in Swing application, I recommend that we have to do it as NetBeans. It's very simple. It is. We have to configure the project, right? Okay. Everyone uh, who doing this uh, project in Swing application in in uh, NetBeans idea. Java effects we can use it as an IntelliJ idea. That is the best idea. Now you click. File new project. I'm going to create the sales sales target. Sales target. Sales target. Sorry. Sales target. Spelling wrong. So if it is select the grade maintenance, you have to uncheck it and finish the project. Now your project has been created. You can see here your project has been created. Here default. Here you can expand the project here default package. Here to create the packages. First package I am going to create. Java package. I'm going to create. First package I'm going to create this one. Controller, you have right click this. Com dot project dot controller. First, I am going to create the package. This is a controller package. This is a MVC architecture. I am going to do in the project. Second package, I am going to create new Java package. Second project, I am going to create this one as a model. Third one, create. I am going to create the package this here as util. After that, we have created another package, which is a DB. After that, I am going to create another package, which is a view. These are the packages we have to create. Okay. MEC model, controller, DB, model, util. Util can manage the date and everything, date, time, and all things. DB, this package control the databases. This is a controller. This is a model. Right? It's a model. This is a view. The view part, I'm going to create the right click, select the package, new. I'm going to select the JFRA form. Here I'm going to name it as a form. With a name of form. Right. Now, here you have to expand the right. You double click on this. You can view the prices for this. Right. Now here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to here, first, I'm going to go to the menu. So under the swing heading, the menu, the file menu, menu bar, you have to drag and drop it here. The menu bar, click on this right click, you can see the event, sorry, you have to go to the, select this menu, option, right click. Uh, palette, yeah, add palette. You can see here the menu item. You can add the menu item. So, here, here you can add the menu item. So, here, right click, edit text, exit. Okay, if you want to the menu right here, like this menu item, you can add it here. 
here. If you want to add another one, go here, add palette, menu item, you can add another menu item. You can do it like this. If you need like this way, here you can expand like this way. What you're going to do is click on this. So click on this. There is a, another thing. You can see the menus. Here you can add the menus and you can expand this like this. The software you can uh, you can write like this. Okay, that's the thing you have to do. It, right? This is how you add the menu menu item, this menu in Java programming. Right. After that, I have to split out this interface. So to, to split out, you have to go to the area which is a you can click out the area this splitter in here split tab so to select this split tab you have to drag and drop it here you can see here split tab you have to drag and drop it here click on this one you have to write it like this here this is split tab right you have to adjust the size right so you have to click right so you have to right here is split okay you have to write like this now you can see here i want to this your left left side you have to increase the size a little bit bigger here okay we need a width right so what how to, how to increase the width here you have to see you have to go to the here the split pan this is a split pan so here you have to go to the navigator pan navigator pan here this uh, you have there are two pans Pan, panel 1, panel 2, you have to select the main one, splitter. Splitter, you have to select this splitter. You have to select splitter. You have to go to the location here, divided location. I am going to increase as 200 percent again. Now you can see here, if you feel it is too much, you have to little bit, you have to select again. That's 150. 170, it will be the perfect one, I think. Percent again. Now you can see here. It's okay, right? Perfect. Now here you can drag the button and down. Now let's execute the program and check it. It's working. It's working perfectly. Working. Now here it's working perfectly well. Right here. I can select this one properties. Right, so it's working perfectly well. Now let's select the panel. I'm going to code generate center and here go to the source control F UI. You would select this one as a matter. That is the perfect one. Now again I'm going to hit this one. You have to arrange them here. Now let's do it here. Here you can work in perfectly. It's working perfectly. Here you can see here. Simply here. It's very simple. Right? I hope you guys will understood things well. I will see in my next video. Thank you.